Welcome to this Windows channel and today in our Back to the Basics episode. Once again, we will talk about something that is very popular, that is asked very often and people just don't know where to go to do that, is simply change the font size in the computer. You know, with computers getting higher and higher resolution screen, one of the problems with high resolution is that the fonts stayed pretty much the same on many, many um, computers and apps and even in Windows. Now, there are some dynamic fonts that understand that and that actually adjust themselves because the higher the resolution, some fonts will automatically uh, make their size bigger because they know that they're going to be smaller on the screen. So as you increase size res uh, resolution of the screen, actually, you will increase how sharp it is. And people tend to think that, oh, higher resolution, bigger text. No. High res higher resolution means that each little pixel is smaller, so even the text be gets smaller. And you have to actually increase the text size to make it readable at some point. So how do you change that? It's very easy in Windows 8. All you have to do is go, and that's the best place you can really do it, go to the desktop and right click anywhere where there's no icons and go into your screen resolution, that little panel that I showed you in another episode of Back to the Basics. On that spot, you'll see that below the display resolution and orientation, there are text and once is make text and other items larger or smaller. You can click here and you'll have two ways to actually do it. You have a slider that's going to help you do it, but the slider sometimes does not want to work. So you can actually put that little check mark here and here you'll have, let me choose one scaling level for all my displays and you have smaller, you have medium. On a lot of computers, medium is pretty good, but you can also click custom sizing options. And here you can actually simply go and choose whatever you want in resolution. What's going to happen is when you do this, for example, if I choose 125, it actually gives you a little idea of what it looks like. Let's say the 100. This is the size of 100. If you put it at 125, it's going to show you, well, this is how big it's going to be now. And you click OK. And that is going to be the resolution. But to have that change, you'll need to log out of your session. So what you will need to do is log out and sign in again to your session or just restart your computer uh, once you click the apply button. So here I'll sign out later because it's going to stop the recording. But this will make not only the text bigger, but it also going to increase physically the size of the icons, the charm bar, um, anything that you have even in the uh, taskbar at the bottom everything will be slightly bigger, 125. So depending on how big your screen is, you might want to choose even bigger. Some uh, screens I've chosen 150% and it was quite good. But there's one drawback to using the uh, size of items and screen fonts is the fact that some apps aren't made to have text size increased. So when you do that, there are times when you will, uh, you know, use an app or use a program that was not made to have text bigger. And what it does is that some of the text or maybe even some of the options that you can click will be out of range of the app. So you cannot reach them or some text will be missing on some windows. So that could happen on some apps. And you got to be careful about that. If it does happen and it's really, really something important, you can always go back here, change it, 
re-sign into your account and use it temporarily in a lower, res uh, uh, you know, a smaller size. So uh, this is the best way to actually deal with the fact that the higher the resolution of your screen, the smaller the text might actually be. This is also a good option to use if, for example, you use your laptop or a computer on a large screen TV. A lot of people say, well, it's unusable on a TV. It's too small. Well, you can increase the size here and it's going to make things bigger on your 50 inch TV, for example. So uh, that's all you have to do. And once you restart, it's very important to restart because as long as you're not out of your session, Windows cannot apply these changes. You have to come back into your session or, like I said, just restart the computer. And, you know, if things are too big or things aren't working like you want, uh, then just put it back at smaller. Now, one little word of caution before. Remember one thing is that the size of the font in Internet Explorer or in your browser, Firefox or Chrome, is different and dependent on the browser itself. And look for that back to the basics episode coming up next on how to increase the size of your web pages on the Internet. If you enjoy our videos, why not subscribe to our channel? You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments or questions on what you've seen, let us know. And hopefully you enjoy our videos and find them helpful and help you learn how to use Windows 8 to the max. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.